Hey guys, we're continuing our talks before Valentine's Day about relationships, and I got directed to a video asking atheists why they get married. How convenient. Quiet, you. Let's dive in and see what As the World Turns and has to say. You're censoring me on that? I'm just quoting the channel name. <sighs> Fine. What a Mickey Mouse operation we got going here. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, y'all know what time it is. It's Jason the Place. Thank y'all for coming out to the show again. As the world turns and locker me. Yeah, that's right. I got my maid with me. That super sexy self. That's right. That's where she'd be hanging out at. Y'all know what time it is. Now that's sweet. It's nice that your partner is willing to do your videos with you. Sweetie. Why don't you make any videos with me? Because you are embarrassing yourself and anybody else you drag into them, and I want no part of it. Well, what can I say? She's not wrong. I gotta get you. But, um, anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to, uh, talk about this one particular subject that me and Baby was just talking about. And it's about, uh, people that are atheists and how they don't believe in scriptures, Bibles, and stuff like that. All that crap. Well, that fits me, non-believer here. And not just in scripture you follow, or what's said in the Bible, but I simply have no reason to accept the claim of the existence of any divine being. I mean, I'm not a Bible dumper myself. I don't, uh, I'm not no Jesus freak, and all that, whatever y'all call it. But, I do believe in higher power. I do believe that there's the most happy. That's cool. You want to believe? Go ahead and believe. I'm against thought crime, so as long as you don't think others must believe the same thing you do, go for it. Anyway, you had a question for non-believers like me? Now, my thing is, what I was about to talk about was, as far as you atheists are concerned, why do y'all get married? I don't understand your, your logic in that. Y'all get married. And marriage is like one of them biblical things. Things. You know, the thing that y'all don't believe in. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Marriage has been around for a lot longer and found in many different cultures than just the Christian faith. And, quite frankly, even the meaning of marriage has changed over time. Some anthropologists say that basic pair bonding occurred just after the formation of agriculture. Basically, as soon as we figured out where babies came from and had something to pass on, protecting inheritance and lineage became important. Pair bondings, which would lead to formal marriages, started out as a way to be sure that a man's child was his so that he could pass on his lands and possessions to his offspring. Over time, that changed into a tool to consolidate families, power, and have a set connection between groups. Religion has often taken an interest in marriage. Discouraging interfaith marriage helps make sure that one's spouse doesn't stray to the other's heathen beliefs, and both parents with the same faith will make it much more likely that their children will grow up with that faith as well. But that too has changed. Now, marriage is seen as a commitment between two, or possibly more with a growing polyamorous families movement, people who want to dedicate their lives to each other. In any event, marriage has again become a secular institution with no religious claims to it. Anyone can get married if they choose to, regardless of their beliefs. Yes, a piece of paper in itself does not invest a couple with anything that directly makes the relationship stronger. But a marriage is a symbol of their commitment to each other. I do love a good symbol. It's the only instrument I can play. But you get married anyway. I don't, I don't understand that logic. Somebody help me out here. Any atheists up here? Please make a comment right down below, right down there. Make a comment right there. Let me know what's up with that. Because it uh, seems kind of stupid to me when you get married when you don't even believe in what marriage is all about or where it came from. It came from the scriptures. Again, as I mentioned, marriage did not come from a simply Christian or any religious belief, even though it has been co-opted by many religions. As you requested, after I upload this video, I'll link it to your comments. Hopefully, you'll get an understanding of, well, if not every atheist mindset, at least my own thoughts on it. That's where you learn it from. You're from somebody that believes in the scriptures, so why do you all get married? Alright, so here we get to the meat of the argument. 
Why would non-believers like myself and my wife get married? Like many seemingly simple questions, there are a number of different answers. My brother and his wife, even though they'd already been together for years, wanted the structure and partnership that a marriage provided for them for when they had kids. My wife and I were already parents, so children were not a deciding factor for us, but we chose to marry to show and strengthen our commitment to one another. And I've known people who are already in sturdy, devoted relationships and simply want to gain the same rights and protections that the government provides married couples. The one common thread is, in general, people who love each other and want to spend their lives together use marriage to strengthen that bond. I uh, hope that answers your question. But they